The Thermalride Phantom Spirit 120 Evo is currently the best air cooler on the market. It has a sleek all-black appearance, tasteful RGB lighting, highly impressive performance, and a very aggressive price point. It easily beats higher-end competitors, both in terms of performance and price, so it's a safe recommendation as the best value CPU cooler these days. This variant builds on the foundation of its predecessor, the original Phantom Spirit 120, which already earned praise for its dual tower efficiency. This time round, the Evo version features seven heat pipes instead of six, a denser fin array for better heat dissipation, and improved high-performance fans. Design-wise, the Phantom Spirit 120 Evo has a very stealthy appearance. It's a dual-tower cooler with a staggered aluminum fin array, 58 fins per tower, and has a matte black coating on top that gives it a sleek, industrial look. The fan stacks are asymmetrical, which improves RAM clearance. It comes with two TLK12 fans with RGB lighting zones at the corners, and they're rated for 1500 RPM with a quiet 25.6 decibel noise level. Out of the box, you get a generous tube of Thermalrite TF7 thermal paste, a universal mounting kit for Intel LGA1700-1200, and AMD AM5-AM4, and a low-profile screwdriver for hassle-free installation. The cooler's dual-tower design adds some heft at 750 grams, but the reinforced backplate ensures motherboard flex isn't an issue. However, this cooler does have a gigantic footprint, meaning it won't fit into most ITX cases. In fact, it might even have some trouble fitting into micro ATX cases, which is something to be aware of. Thankfully, all that size is put to good use with impressive performance. When testing with high-end processors like the Ryzen 9 9800 X3D, the temperatures peak at around 82 degrees Celsius depending on the application. That's while pushing the CPU to 100% load, so the results are nothing to scoff at. Noise levels at full load were around 45 decibels. It's important to note that since this is a relatively affordable cooler, it's perfectly usable for cheaper CPUs like the Ryzen 5 5500. With less power-hungry CPUs, expect temperatures of around 60 to 65 degrees, even at full load. Noise levels will drop similarly, staying at or around the 40 decibel mark. Installation is straightforward for a dual-tower cooler. The spring-loaded screw mounts eliminate uneven pressure, and the pre-applied silicone fan gaskets dampen vibrations. AMD users can install it in minutes using the stock AM5 brackets, while Intel builders get a no-nonsense backplate and standoff system. In terms of competition, the only cooler that provides such high-end performance at a low price is the Deepcool AK620. Both coolers have clean designs, fantastic performance, and low noise levels. The only problem is that Deepcool products are not available anymore in the US due to sanctions, giving the Thermalright cooler an anticlimactic win by default. In summary, the only thing that might bother you about this cooler is its gigantic size. However, if you can fit it into your case, you're getting a beast that can outperform competitors that are twice its price. I highly recommend it for both entry-level, mid-range, and even some high-end CPUs. To sum up, what I like is the unparalleled performance for the price, the sleek design and appearance, the low noise levels at full load, and there's plenty of clearance for RAM. On the downside, it's not compatible with most mini-ITX cases. Ratings, design, 8 out of 10, performance, 9 out of 10, installation, 9 out of 10, noise levels, 9 out of 10, value, 9 out of 10, for an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching! Remember, you can check prices in the description below. And if you're interested in more PC building suggestions and hardware reviews, be sure to check out more of my videos.